Patrick, Voracek, and Giroux start here for the Flyers. Flyers in their 10th game of the season. Back out to the point, Myers quickly, Faraby with a pass that eludes Van Riemsdyk. Bullock getting in the puck by Lawton, but then he's checked by Nelson. The puck mounts to three. Faraby a shot, he scores! Goal, Faraby jumps on a loose puck, beats Sorokin in the Flyers, take a 1 0 lead. The puck in, he retrieved it himself. That kept the play alive, and there's JVR keeping that alive to Faraby, and he ramps it right up underneath the bar. Great shot. Pellick tries to block it. Soroki can't see it, can't stop it, and the Flyers have a one nothing lead. What a shot! Asked for his consistency. Better play by the rules tonight. Here's Bailey. Down is looking to tie this game up. Gets it back to Letty. And now Letty flips one, hits the post, and it goes in. Elliott reacted as though it banked off of him. After hitting the post, there was also a screen, possible deflection in front. It's a goal. It's from the blue line on this Islanders team, and Letty just makes a really intelligent play. Look at it, it goes off the post and off the leg of Brian Elliott. Screen in front, and right there, an unfortunate bounce. He gets the puck, hit the referee with his pass. It does make its way back to Myers. Now Sanheim to Farabee. Down low, Lawton slow getting up from the corner. Shot and they score! Farabee! Blasting it home, Lawton is upset. He goes after Brock Nelson. Farabee watching that. But the Flyers have retaken the lead and Farabee has his second of the night. He goes to work with a beautiful give and go and another great release goes up high on the blocker side. This time, JVR with the shot, pass, sorry, and the shot from Farabee goes to the top of the net. The left wing feed for Lee. He's checked. Faraby couldn't clear. Goes cross ice. Everly back across in front. Lee denied by Elliott who slid across. Bounces out toward the line. And here's Faraby moving up with it to Lawton. Scott Lawton in across the line. Drop past Van Riemsdyk. He waits. Back it goes. Myers the shot. Score! May have deflected in front. Faraby was there. If he got his stick on it, he's got his third of the night. The Flyers take a 3-1 lead. We'll wait and see if it's a hat trick for Farabee, but it did appear to change direction. And Reinsdijk was also there, but Farabee's taking the congratulations. It could be his first career hat trick. Shot by Myers. And let's watch all that traffic in front. Lawton swinging at it as well. So I don't know if Lawton got a stick on it on the backhand or Farabee did, but here's the reaction. Looks like it hit him in the shin pad and went in. Lawton reacted as though it hit Farabee. Watch the shin pad there. It's going to hit Mayfield as well. Interrupts him. Or check after the puck, but it's Pullock down low. Fanning on that was Barzell. And Barzell back across to Pullock. They're set up. The shot. Deflection score. Bailey with a redirection. Just what the Islanders wanted. An early goal here in the third as Bailey finally gets his first of the year. It's 3-2. Too. too much space to wind up. And right there, it's Josh Bailey that gets a stick on it. Provorov also trying to knock that puck down, but Bailey gets enough of it to change its direction right there. It did hit Provorov's stick as well before it went up and over. Brian Elliott, Islanders right back in it. Patrick out on the eighth. He gets the puck to Haig, who sends a rocket shot way high and wide and past Braun. This could be trouble. Lee will get to the puck. Anders Lee centers it for Zelly, scores! Matt Barzell ties the game at three. Haig missing the net badly, and the Flyers never recovered. Right there, high and wide, it's a bouncing puck. Difficult play at the blue line for Braun, and then Lee's got a wide open Barzell. Multiple mistakes on that one for the Flyers and the wrong two guys teaming up. Raffle tips it. Obey up for the shot. Safe stroke and rebound. Stroke got across. And the puck deflects now to the corner. Get to it. Five seconds remaining. Lobs it up and out to center ice. Provorov will take the puck and the horn sounds. And once again, we go to overtime here in South Philly. Letty will carry and he's got Nelson and Everly with him. Letty tried to play it back. Hayes jumps on it. He's got Faraby with him. Hayes and Faraby a two on one. Hayes and across the line. Hold. Fires. Safe. Throw a rebound from his stomach. He swatted it wide. Hayes. Reeves Dyke is in front. 
Hayes the shot. Save made. Rebound Giroux. Back out the shot by Hayes. He scores! Another overtime winner for the Flyers. A power play goal. 4-3 the final. The Flyers over the Islanders once again. Worked. Just didn't arrive that quickly. There's the shot from Hayes. A beautiful backhand pass from Giroux. And you can see the point by Hayes right there to the captain. Hayes, two goal posts in this game. And a huge goal in overtime. Sky and welcome to Flyers pregame report. When we last left off, the Philadelphia Flyers play the Islanders again in a rematch on Sunday. A rematch on Sunday. The Philadelphia Flyers got on the board first with Joel Rogol by Joel Faraby. The Islanders then tied the score at 1 1. Trophy Fighters scored again, and Joel Fairby got the second goal to make it 3 to make it 2 1. And then Joel Fairby scores again to complete the hat trick. The Flyers are leading 3 1. Midway into the third, into the third period, the Islanders tied the score at three to three. So, a few Flyers to win some overtime. The Islanders had some good chances. The Flyers had some great chances as well. Until in overtime, when Matt Marcel took a high sticking, a high sticking penalty, to give the Flyers. The four on three power play in overtime. The Philadelphia Flyers won the game in overtime with a game winning goal by Kevin Hayes. Tonight, the Philadelphia Flyers are going to have a tough game ahead of them as they face off against the Boston Bruins at 8 p.m. tonight. And on Friday at 7 p.m., the Boston Bruins beat the Flyers in the shootout and also beat the Flyers 6 to 1 in the second game. Tonight, the Flyers are in for quite the challenge as the Boston Bruins have been playing well, even without their best player, David Pasternak. The Philadelphia Flyers are looking to get their eight straight, w straight win tonight as they play the Bruins. Can the Philadelphia Flyers get some revenge on the Boston Bruins on tonight? Well, we'll find out as the Philadelphia Flyers take on the Boston Bruins and a rematch. Hopefully, the Philadelphia Flyers will come on top of the victory. Let's go, Flyers! 